Hey everybody, I am on my way to Kansas City, Kansas right now for an in-person training session tomorrow morning with the Kansas Referee Program. If you're gonna be out there, get ready to work. I cannot wait to teach movement to all of you tomorrow. So in this session, you know, we talk about a lot of these things frequently, right? We're gonna go over some sprint technique drills. I'm gonna give you some things that you can take away for game day warm-ups, for your own training sessions and warm-ups, uh, movement prep stuff, things that will keep you healthy and injury preventative overall as well, okay? I can't wait to meet you guys tomorrow morning. Hope you can show up, get ready to train hard. This is a seven and a half hour drive for me right now. So I'm gonna be stiff, I'm gonna be tight, I need to be ready to move around tomorrow morning too. So we do have a hotel stretch email going out tomorrow that will list out for you uh, the steps that you can take, the exercises that you can do, the target spots in your body in which I would make sure to hit prior to going out onto the field traveling. Many of you have to travel to your events, to your matches, to your games, and you need to know the hot spots and what you really need to stretch. I think some people are lost sometimes and they're just not quite sure what to do. So. If you check your email tomorrow morning, we're gonna make sure that you have a list laid out for you. There will be a couple of video links involved with that as well. So you can make sure you hit all the target spots. As for me getting warmed up, getting loose, getting my body operating back again, okay? So for starters, I am definitely gonna go through some hip resets. That's a big deal. You can take that from physical therapy, from chiropractors. I need to make sure that my spine, my hips, my torso, everything is in a line before I go in and start moving around and getting going. The next thing that I'm gonna do is start with some stationary exercises, like some activation exercises as well. So I go through some hip resets, then we'll do some muscular activation techniques. So for me, the hot spots I definitely wanna hit is the lower leg, so the calf and ankle complex. I talk about that frequently. I can't be weak or inactive on the ground. That's a very critical point I think a lot of people miss. The next thing that I wanna make sure that is activated is my torso and glute region as well. I definitely want to hit that and I need to make sure that is operating smoothly as well. So after I do those two things, I'll go through some hip resets, I'll take my time, I will go through um, the activation series that I personally like to go through as well. Then after that, before I start to get up on my feet, I'll do some stationary or in place dynamic movements. So I'm gonna start hitting some, my calves once again, my glutes, hips, internal, external rotators. I'm definitely gonna hit my hamstrings, hip flexors, big key. My hip flexors are gonna get short and tight that I've been sitting for seven and a half hours on this drive. I've gotta make sure that I loosen all of those structures and things up before I get on my feet to move. And then after that, you know, I'm gonna apply the same principles that I talk about quite a lot. And that is starting slow and moving and gradually picking up faster and faster speeds. So with all that being said, um, these are some things that I just wanted to talk about. If you've got any questions, as always, you can reach out to me, social media, Facebook, Instagram, pretty active and easy to get in touch with, or email austin at runnerref.com. I'm more than happy to answer your questions. If you're in Kansas City tomorrow, can't wait to meet you. Very excited for this session. Otherwise, let's get to running.